Is it okay? Is it on there? Yeah, okay. Okay, good afternoon. Yes, I, it says here, Monica, it says here, actor. Yeah. Was heißt das? Schauspieler or was? I think I became an actor. Well, I'm going to tell you something which really something. happened, Act. which really happened and still is happening. Um, I used to be six years with Desso as a CEO and chairman. I stopped mid-2013, but I still have the shares in, in the company, so I continue to talk about Desso as we, if you don't mind. I also am the chairman of the Groene Zaak, which are the 200 most sustainable companies in the Netherlands. And we do business to science, business to politics, lobbying, and business to business. And uh, we believe we have a very big influence, at least on the Dutch government. So that's good to change things. Um, we are, uh, Deso is a leading in carpet tiles for offices and artificial grass pitches. The pitch you see there is Wembley, which is, art, uh, which is natural grass with artificial grass, a mix. And uh, there's actually 98% natural grass and the um, um, artificial grass goes 20% deep into the ground so that the roots go deeper into the ground. So with the sliding, you get less of a hole and it recovers faster. This is Wembley, but it's also in San Siro, and it's now in the Allianz Arena in Bayern München. So I'm sure Holland will play Germany very soon on his own pitch and then finally beat them. 90% um, of the total business of Desso is carpets, um, um, about 10% um, sports. The majority of the carpets are business carpets, carpet tiles, but we also have um, hospitality, which is hotels, cruise ships, and actually airlines. And I had the privilege today that I flew on my own carpet to Hamburg. <laughs> then we have some consumer carpets as well, but we are only big in Holland, which is a relatively small country. The rest is uh, global business. Um, we have a strategy of operational excellence, innovation, geographical expansion, and PR communication, but also a little bit of advertising. But the most important strategy is, of course, innovation. And we have three drivers of innovation. The first is creativity, the second is functionality, and the third is cradle-to-cradle. -cradle. Those are drivers of innovation for us. And uh, creativity, well, when we bought the company in April 2007, when I became CEO, it was a very good company, excellent service, good products, but very boring. So we um, introduced the circles of IG techs in all uh, key countries and our R&D people go there, show colors, structures and get a lot of input and now we are being seen by IG techs around the world and the carpet industry as one of the most creative uh, floor designers. Uh, the second uh, driver functionality I come back to and the third driver is actually cradle to cradle. Now, what is cradle to cradle? Well, I guess I don't have to explain that to you, but okay, I still do it. Eh? We try to make products from such pure materials that you can endlessly recycle them and you make them in such a way that you can easily disassemble them again. Now, that's what we try to achieve. And Michael Braungart has also talked about the quality of the air. And he always says that the inside air quality is three to eight times worse than the outside air because of volatile organic components. And we also find that it's because of fine particles. And there is a study from DAAP, the, the German Asthma Bund, which says that on carpets um, is two to three times better to prevent fine particles to come uh, in the air. And fine particles you cannot see. Uh, one millimeter is 1,000 micron. Fine particles are smaller than uh, 50 micron. Um, less than 10 micron goes into your lungs, less than 2.5 micron into your vascular system, and uh, uh, attached to fine particles are viruses, bacteria, pollen, and allergen. So if I walk on this very unhealthy floor, then all the fine particles come two to three times higher than with carpets. So we immediately started to advertise carpets as being a better alternative for asthma. And generally spoken, I mean, I, I'm sure that nine out of 10 people here think that hard floors are healthier, more hygienic than carpets, but the opposite is true because we do not tend to lick our floors, do we? We, we inhale every five seconds and the fine dust, you don't want to get up. So as a result of all of this knowledge, we started, and now I'm back to functionality, we started to develop a carpet. We asked our R&D people, and they are excellent. And they developed a carpet, which we call Desso Airmaster, which is uh, actually eight times better than hard floors in finders to prevent on coming into the air. 
And I can tell you the first time I met Michael, in the first meeting he said, you should make carpets that clean the air. Well, we actually did. Okay, boss. Um, so Cradle to Cradle, why? Uh, we did Cradle to Cradle because it's a good positive quality initiative. It's not only good for the environment, but also good for health, as I told you. Uh, waste becomes food for other products, and it's not only good for people and planet. Uh, well, it's obvious that we need to do that. I mean, if you look to the plastic soups in the world, uh, the one close to California, which is bigger than Western Europe, has 40 times more plastic than plankton in it, and it goes round and round, and there is hardly any life. So obviously we need to do something about that. But the third reason why we are doing is, of course, business, i.e. profit. And I can tell you it has been a great success. Our market share since 2007 in the European carpenter market went up from 15 to 30 percent now. And the profitability was so good that our previous private equity owner who sold the business for a, year, a couple of years ago got eight, eight times their money back. Now I'm not telling you uh, that in order to brag, also a little bit, but in order, in order to give credibility to the cradle to cradle concept as a real business builder. So doing the right thing for people, for the environment, can be also great for business. And fortunately, there are more and more companies who discover that and are very serious about that. Um, most uh, companies, when they talk about sustainability, they talk about a lower carbon footprint, about eco-efficiency, less CO2 and less energy. We did that in the beginning as well. But since we met Michael Braungart and Bill McDonough, we talk about eco-effectiveness. Because now you can be proud of your footprint, because everything which is in there uh, should be very pure materials, which you can safely recycle. And I declared early 2008 that we, from now on, will design only according to the cradle-to-cradle -cradle principles. And we want all of our products to be, in 2020, like that cherry tree. Because everything that falls down or blows away from that tree is being reused in some microsystem in nature. And Cradle to Cradle is nothing else than a, a very serious attempt to imitate ne nature, which makes a hell of a lot of sense. Uh, the number six point there, use renewable energy in all stages of the cycle, is also very important. Sun, wind, biomass fermentation, hydropower, geothermal energy, and groundwater heating and cooling is what DESO wants to do. So I also declared, that was in 2009, that in 2020 the whole company should run on renewables. Uh, today, well this is an old chart, uh, in, in uh, 2011 it was already 33%, but I believe it's now higher than 40%. So well on our way to go to 100%. This is a roof on one of our plants of 25,000 square meters uh, sun panels. Um, yeah, so um, when... Um, well, how did we come to Cradle to Cradle? I mean, um, when I started at the company, I never heard about Cradle to Cradle. Uh, I, the only thing I knew is that we were talking behind some uh, big... Uh, the, the sound of your block. Can you hear me? Okay, okay, fine. Okay. Uh, the, the companies like Shaw, Mohawk and Interface uh, from the US, they had a big mouse on sustainability. Uh, and I'm not saying sustainability was lip service, but they had a good story and um, particularly uh, um, Interface and Mohawk were talking about uh, less energy and less CO2 and so forth. Uh, Mission Zero, as uh, one of them called it. But um, So my sales force said when I arrived in 2007, I mean, we are losing because uh, I mean, we as a sales force have nothing to say about sustainability. So I asked Rudy Damans, who is here, the sustainability director of DESO, who made it happen. A little applause for Rudy. And I, and I asked him, um, look what we did. So, okay, uh, in the 10 years until 2007, we did less energy, less CO2, so we produced a very original book, a green book, very Me Too-ish, until I met Michael Braungart on DVD. There was a Dutch documentary, somebody gave it to me, I, I, I saw the documentary, I saw it at home, and I was flabbergasted. And I got a little bit warm and I got a little bit panicky because I think, Jesus, this is what we have to do. But if this is what you want to do, you have to change R&D, manufacturing, the way you sell, the way you market. And that is actually exactly what we did. I knew he was speeching in Utrecht in Holland. I went there after the speech 
I went to him and I said, I want my whole company cradle to cradle. So he looked a little bit, I mean, normally he's fighting like crazy to get some business. And there's this guy who's saying that he, has, he wants his company cradle to cradle. And I said to him, I only do it if you personally help me with your institute. So two weeks later, he was in my uh, office uh, around my table with the top 12 in the company. And he started uh, to explain uh, the, all these things about, well, what type of things do you have in your product? Uh, uh, is it good? And so forth. And I was very enthusiastic, enthusiastic about the concept. And I said, we go. And eight out of 12 also started to dance. But there were two who kind of hated me. And there was a manufacturing director who are, is an excellent guy and the R&D director who is an excellent guy. And he said, what are you talking about? We comply with uh, the AU REACH and CE labeling, according to which you can use certain part per millions of benzene and all this terrible stuff. And that is uh, below a certain level. So why, uh, what, what, why bother? And then we said, Michael was in the room, happily enough, we said, well, we want to be 0, 0,000. So at the end of the day, we started to go ahead. We went to our suppliers and to the chemical industry, and we told them, and they said the same thing. Ah, we comply with REACH and CE labeling from the EU. Why do you want this? I said, well, if you don't want to dance, stay seated, then we will dance with the others. Now everybody wants to dance with us. Deso is being seen as an innovation platform for materials, and it is really working. And obviously, we want to be in 2020 uh, there, because uh, we probably are somewhere here now, and we want to be here in 2020. But it's hard work, because it sounds all very easy when you present it like this, and it sounds if it goes like that, but it goes like this. So three steps ahead, two steps back, and a lot of grinding, uh, also with the people of IPEA. But uh, finally, we are getting there. Um, well, as you know, um, um, we have the biological cycle and the technical cycle. Uh, everything that DESO makes, most of what DESO makes is technical cycle, very much oil-based. Um, but we also have woolen products, which is the biological cycle. And we are trying to make those products completely 100% uh, biodegradable. We've made some prototypes, but we are not there yet. And obviously, if you have a carpet, a total biodegradable carpet <coughs> in a restaurant or in cruise ships, you need to prevent that the bacteria e are eating your carpet. So there are some dilemmas to uh, win, as you can imagine. Well, this is the roadmap we made in 2020. It looks perfect, don't you think so? All the beautiful steps. But it didn't go like that, as I said. It went like this. And sometimes with a hell of a lot of frustration. But we went on and on, and 90% of DESO carpet tiles are cradle to cradle certified now, most of them silver, and I hope soon gold or platinum. Um, and um, okay, uh, it's all nice to talk about uh, products which are made from very pure materials that you can endlessly recycle, but it only makes sense if you also have a take back system. And in 2008, because um, the carpet backing that we have in carpet tiles is bitumen. And, and the yarn is uh, nylon, polyamide. And the first time um, Michael asked in a meeting, what is your backing? And then uh, our R&D director said, bitumen. And he said, bitumen, son of a bitumen. <laughs> and I, I got very concerned because I had this activist, old Greenpeace guy starting to talk about son of a bitumen. I said, well, what is happening here? But, he said it's a joke and uh, the, the secret about making this happen is to set yourself a target long time away, like in 2020, and then make the steps in order to get there. Otherwise, it's, you're simply not uh, able to achieve it. Uh, and so we started to develop an alternative for bitumen, which we call uh, polyolefin, which is also oil-based, which is very pure materials, which you can separate from the yarn very easily. And now more and more the business is turning into uh, polyolefin, but we cannot do that in day one. If we do it, if we just uh, kick out the bitumen and go to polyolefin, then we will kill our own business because all of the competitors have the cheaper bitumen. Uh, but uh, we are negotiating uh, with the suppliers uh, the polyolefin, uh, polyolefin price. If that comes down, then maybe in three or four years from ta uh, time from now, we can say goodbye to bitumen. If we succeed in that, then we will also talk about it on, on the stage, as far as I'm concerned. Um, and we will say that uh, the, we will ask the AU to ban bitumen forever. 
Now, my competitors hate me if I say that, but uh, probably that's what should be happening. Anyway, the take-back system is there. We separate. So we, 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 saw, we thought in 2008, should we set up this take-back system now, or should we do it later? We decided to do it immediately. So all the copper tiles that we are getting back are bitumen-based. We separate the yarn from the backing. The bitumen goes to the road industry, and the yarn, and that is the nice part of this story, goes back to one of our suppliers who I gave a presentation five to six years ago, this presentation, because he was thinking about building a plant to depolymerize the old yarn, to depolymerize the old the polymer, the used polymer into the original monomer, and then make new yarn again from it, because now he buys the monomer. And that's exactly what this man did. And uh, we can now say that from 2010, 2011, uh, we are selling 50%, almost 50% or a little bit more than 50% of the total carpet tile global volume of DESO is made from up to 100% recycled yarn. And that is really closing the loop. Now, this yarn, which is made from old yarn, is not coming all from DESO. That's only a fraction. Most of the old polyamide 6 this Italian company gets from all kinds of sources. But at least we are helping to close the cycles, which makes a hell of a lot of sense. Now I will show you a little film, only, it will only take three minutes to show you the process. Millions of square meters of worn out carpet are thrown away every year, often being dumped at landfill sites. Early 2008, Desso, a leading manufacturer of high quality carpet tiles and broadloom, took revolutionary steps to ensure that carpets can be safely recycled. Inspired by nature's continuous cycle, Desso bears the true identity of the cradle-to-cradle -cradle philosophy. Desso offers clients a take-back program to ensure that products will be recycled according to the cradle-to-cradle -cradle principles. Products will be taken back by Desso after their useful life and will be safely recycled into new carpet products or used in other recycling initiatives. Besides its own products, Desso also encourages international collection of all types of used carpet, except for carpet containing PVC. These carpet products are recycled using Desso's innovative separation technique, called Refinity. This makes it possible to separate the yarn and other fibers from the backing, producing two main material streams, which can each be recycled. After an additional purification stage, the yarn, with the required purity, is returned to the yarn manufacturer for the production of new yarn. Some virgin material is needed to compensate for losses and process inefficiency. For Polymide 6 yarn, this process takes place at Aquafil, one of our yarn suppliers. Aquafil has developed proprietary technology at its regeneration plant to turn recovered post-consumer Polymide 6 carpet fibers into new Polymide 6, again and again. At Desso, today's bitumen backing is used in the road and roofing industry. Non-recyclable fractions will be used as secondary fuel in the cement industry. Cradle-to-cradle -cradle design is inspired by nature and sees carpet as being made up of nutrients that should consistently remain in use in an unending cycle. This is why Desso developed a new backing to replace the traditional bitumen backing. Desso EcoBase is a new carpet tile backing specifically designed with disassembly and recycling in mind. Due to its innovative composition, the polyolefin-based layer of the EcoBase backing is 100% safely recyclable in our own production process. Next to that, Desso is proud to have achieved a cradle-to-cradle -cradle silver certificate for an entire carpet tile product. This results in a continuous technical cycle, where old carpet is turned back into new carpet again and again and again. Carpets manufactured according to the cradle-to-cradle -cradle design principles will be available in the same full range, superior quality and durability that the Desso brand has always represented. Our products promote health, wellness and well-being and help to create a positive impact on people and the environment. Our footprint is a positive, creative one. Desso Refinity has received funding from the European Union I've tried together with Ellen McCarter, uh, Ken Webster is from the Ellen McCarter Foundation, will speak after me, I believe. Uh, I've been uh, uh, giving a lot of speeches to a lot of CEOs, also uh, for a week in Davo, together with Ellen, uh, to convince people that they should go to the circular economy. And uh, the holy grail of it is, of course, cradle to cradle. And she calculated, uh, based on a report of McKinsey, that if only the whole in EU industry would go 
uh, cradle to cradle to the circular economy, the, the whole industry can save $630 billion per year. So, uh, and I, what I'm seeing is that more and more companies are taking this up, so which is great. Um, yeah, this is a kind of a network. I can show 40 circles now. There are so many companies who are looking into this, which is a great thing. Uh, what is nice to say in closing is that um, Tarket, which is a very big uh, hard floor uh, company, has actually uh, acquired, is about to acquire Desso. And I myself was a little bit concerned because Desso is owned still partly by myself, but also by private equity, that the company would be sold to maybe another private equity player. And I'm very happy it goes to Tarket because Michel Januzzi, the current CEO, came to me four or five years ago on a request of Michael Braungart to convince him that he should go cradle to cradle as well. And I told him the story and actually he was convinced and now he's doing it. And if you go to the Target website, you see cradle to cradle all over the place. And I think that is fantastic because in my view, that means that uh, all the people who work so hard at Desso are landed uh, with a company with the right strategy. And I'm very happy about that. The last thing I want to show you is this Desso Air Master. I'm Alonzo Morning, seven time American All-Star. Air Master improved my performance. It's stylish and innovative, and it's not the shoes. Air Master is a revolutionary carpet. It's Desso's answer to fine dust in the air, especially important for asthma sufferers like me. It reduces the amount of harmful fine dust in the air by eight times. So choose Desso Air Master in your office and breathe cleaner air. Surprising, isn't it? All right, thank you very much. Thank you.